We've just published a paper, it's been 20 years in the making. It's a paper that shows why we lose our memories in Alzheimer's and shows a potential path to restoring memory. It's been suggested in neuroscience for a hundred years that the nerve cell connections in our brain, and there's a hundred trillion nerve cells, it's been thought that these nerve cell connections actually is where we store our memories. But no one's really proven that, but it's widely accepted in neuroscience. We also know for a fact that in humans with Alzheimer's, we lose those nerve cell connections in the memory center of the brain. And so we've said, look, this is where we should focus. So our view has been really important to focus on those synapses and try to work out why we're losing those synapses, work out if we can restore those synapses, and if we restore them, can we rescue memory in an Alzheimer's brain? The discovery that we've announced today shows that in fact, in a mouse, even though it's got a lot of amyloid plaque in the brain, it's got other aspects of Alzheimer's pathology like that in humans, we were able to show that we could rescue the nerve cell connections in the mouse and that led to rescuing the memory in the mouse. So the fact that we know that people have lost synapses and lost their memory, and that we were able to replicate that in the mouse model and then restore it, gives us great hope that what we've done in the mice is going to be relevant to the humans. We think it's going to have significant implications for science and how science approaches Alzheimer's disease and bringing this towards a therapeutic strategy.